Hey there, beautiful soul, and thank you so much for joining me here for this energy update for April 2021. First of all, I want to let you know that I did record a different video. It's our my pre-show video to this one. It's where I pulled a few cards to just get some uh, general uh, energy information. It's about an hour long, and I invite you to take a look at that if you wanna dive deeper into this energy update. In this video, I'm gonna go over the overall energies that you can expect for the month of April. We're going to talk a little bit about the stargate and what that means and then we're going to get an oracle card from the dragon fey oracle and lastly we're going to be doing a channeled guided astral meditation for this uh month for the month of april so whatever may come um whenever i do a guided astral meditation it's always channeled so I am not the architect of them. I do not write them out. I am just told when uh, we're going to be doing them. And I show up just like you and open up and see what happens. Uh, typically though, we have Gaia who's calling the shots um, and taking us to wherever she needs to take us and giving us whatever information channeled information but i do also uh, ch uh channel um, basically any divine being of the light anybody from the high council uh ascended masters archangels and the like and of course i'm also a, a, a channel and a medium for those who um for people you know private people as well so okay um if you are unfamiliar with me let's start there i am infinity and i am a shaman mystic natural born energy healer psychic physical empath uh and ascension and soul guide and distance energy healer and um i work worldwide since everything that I do and way before the pandemic was done over video conferencing for the most part, I have clients worldwide. I work with people, children and animals uh, to el eliminate pain, negative energy, to align energy, to get you uh, in in greater contact and awareness of your spirit uh, guides your tribe and especially you connected with your soul aside from that i get channeled information i have um, articles stories ebooks on my website i offer a ton of services on my website so please check that out it's thehealingbutterfly.org uh, i also have a podcast and i'm also a divinely guided artist so i'm an artist as well if you're new to my channel you'll find energy updates guided astral meditations tarot and oracle readings and i will We'll be sharing more of my art as we go forward uh, because I am really being pushed to focus in on my art and I'm an, um, a pencil artist and a and a watercolor painter and aside from stuff that I do digitally and combining them um, I like a lot of mixed media stuff so I also combine them and I'll be sharing that as well so anyway that's a bit about me again please go to my website subscribe to my website subscribe to this channel if you think I'm somebody who you want to watch on a regular basis with these with the videos that I put out okay so let's get into April 2021 and um, first of all the energies coming in is really about balancing out our divine masculine divine feminine energies and it's more about a blending it's not about tapping into these energies at this time and tapping into these energies at this time it's about having a good balance and a blending of those energies so that's definitely something that it that came up um and it is that as well as i guess that the overall theme what i should start with here actually is that it was 
when I tapped in a couple days ago from the 30th to the 31st into, okay, what's going on with these energies as we're getting into the new month portal, we have like this one day portal between the last day of the month and the beginning and the first day of the month, which is today. Today is the first day of April. Um, and we'll feel that um, depending on who you are and how tapped in you are, or whatever, you'll feel that energetically in different ways up to two, three days before the end of the month. Two, three days before the end of this month, um, we had our full moon on the 28th, just on Sunday. So it's there's been a lot of energies ramping up to the beginning of this month, to the first, and through into the Stargate. But anyhow, when... I tapped in the other uh, the other day. It was the one thing that came through was worlds collide, <laughs> and I mentioned this on a couple of the uh, the zodiac tarot and oracle reads that I have done so far. I've done four. So, if you are Aries, Taurus, uh, Gemini, or Cancer, your videos are up on my channel. Um, they're the April twenty twenty one. Uh, Terran Oracle reads. Uh, the other, the other eight are going to be done and put up after I finish this one. So in the next twenty four hours, you'll have those videos as well, and they are for. Um, so check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising for those. So interchange that that those messages as you are guided. Okay, so back to worlds collide. So. It was worlds collide. And what I saw was literally like this blending of like two universes coming together, the, the blending of energies. And, um, and I thought that was really, really interesting. I was like, okay, it feels like there's a lot of divine union coming up. And I did get in the pre-show, if you watch that video, I got the, we got the union card from the uh, Dreams of Gaia Tarot. So no surprise there. We also got the Three of Cups. And um, these are beautiful cards. Um, and then we got the uh, King of Earth. And I love this card too. And then we got this, whoopsie, and then we got the star. Um, and what was really interesting about the uh, the three of Earth and the and the King of Earth was that they both talked about taking time to uh, to like to take stock and inventory is into as far as where you've come, what you've grown from, what you've uh, overcome, what you've learned, how you evolved, what projects you've you're working on that are that are. I'm feeling really good, your motivation, just all of this stuff, just really take stock in where you are, in how far you've, you have come and what you, what you've accomplished so far. So those, so it was really interesting. If you watch that video, you'll see it's like both of them talked about that. And then Union talked about balancing out the divine masculine and feminine. Um, and and but the overall theme there's like two two themes it's like worlds collide divine union and or maybe three and uh the 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 stargate there's always a theme or what what about the stargate and quick overview stargates happen every single month they're 10 days long they start on like the one one the two two three three four four five five six six seven 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 eight eight nine nine ten ten and then 12 12 is our last stargate of the year and it goes for 10 days and then we have a landing day like the 11th day is our landing day so the stargates four four this stargate the theme of it is spirit guides especially your angelics it's connecting with your angelics your guardian angel most specifically so whatever your relationship is with your guardian angel if you could really think about connecting even more opening a dialogue with them um, start off your day every single day before you s look at your phone or get up or go pee or take the dog out or anything. Just um, be guided to connect like you would say good morning to anybody else. Like 
so good morning to your guardian angel because they're always there with you um and before you go to sleep at night good night thank you for being with me thank you for guiding me today you know talk about your day with your guardian angel the more you <sighs> extend yourself the more you open up yourself to your guardian angel the easier it is to receive information, to be guided, to see the synchronicities, to to have those moments of magic, to see the angel numbers and all of those things, the little breadcrumbs that, that we're given all day long but through our guardian angels. Even, I mean, my relationship is, <laughs> is so constant and all the time, it's just like, it's this flow back and forth of, of me talking to, to him and him talking to me and um, just joking around and he'll tell he'll stop me from stepping in some cat vomit that's on the floor or if I don't know what to eat he'll show me food that I that is just the perfect thing for me to eat if I'm confused about what I should do he lays out options or just pushes me in a direction like it's always it's just such a beautiful relationship there's nobody on the planet that knows and understands and is with you more than your immediate guardian angel and just for the record we have our immediate guardian angel we have miracle angels and healing angels that are connected to us but they're not like right right with us all the time they're they're they kind of keep the perimeter is really more the way that it that it always looks to me it's like my guardian angels literally like right right here and then my other two my miracle my healing angel they kind of just hang out in the in the perimeter you know they come in when i'm doing healings and doing healing on myself and when i'm um and the my miracle angel is uh really the the way that i i can tap into uh the the magic of gaia the magic of the universe and and really oh gosh it's like your miracle angel really does perform miracles for you i don't know how else to put it and and so they're not always working on miracles for you but they are filtering in information and divine information and sending that to you um to help you manifest and and build miracles in your own life so or and they're also there in times of you know need when miracles really do need to happen and so they're de definitely there for that so anyhow the theme and the the theme for the stargate the theme for the month is balance creativity connection and especially connection with your angelics your guardian angel your um your well of course the archangels the dragons and dragons are of angelic origin the archangels created the dragons um because of the nature of of what they could be is so much different than regular angels and archangels so um this is why people are are so divinely connected to to dragons and unfortunately a lot of the stories about dragons are very um false <laughs> dragons are anything but violent or destructive they help and work with gaia and the archangels it's like if there's an archangel there's a dragon if there's a dragon there's an archangel or more um there's typically um at least one to one or two dragons to an archangel at any given time um working with gaia working with the elements working with the fey working with the galactics working with us humans who are connected as well of course and so um the way that the way that we can help ourselves is by really tapping into those who are working um on the other side of the veil to help us to help gaia so by being very intentional about connecting to just your personal guardian angel and your healing angel and your miracle angel but especially your your guardian angel um 
it, it will help everything else in your life. It just will. And and so that's why I like to say, say good morning and say good night and talk to your guardian angel throughout the day. And you don't have to you like open your mouth and talk. You can just mentally talk, telepathically talk. Open up that channel and I highly suggest that you do the meditation on my podcast or my YouTube. It is for, um, I'm going to repackage and repost. But for now, um, these meditations are from February. It, it was posted on the 14th of February and it is body love. So it's connecting to your body loving your body and meeting your guardian angel and if you already feel like you have a relationship with your guardian angel you can still do this meditation because it is about coming together and sharing space and feeling into that energy it's a beautiful meditation and again just like all of my meditations i did not design it i just showed up and i channeled it and it was absolutely uh, amazing by the way, I am going to be doing more, um, many more meditations coming up in the near future. So look out for that. Um, but anyway, so I would highly suggest that you check out that meditation. Um, it's not a very long one. I think it's like maybe a half hour or something like that. Um, and it's for anybody. You don't have to be an advanced meditator to do any of my meditations. Um, they're very uh, clearing and healing and connecting. And they really are channeled guided astral meditations. We really do um, uh tap into the multiverse and the different dimensions and we go to high places and of course like i said we're typically and always guided by gaia herself she is um the master of our domain here this is her, this is her body we live on we're her children and she came to me years ago and said we're gonna help people together you're gonna i'm gonna help you heal people i'm gonna i'm gonna be there with you um and i had no idea what she meant but years later that means channeling her through meditations and working with her in every single one of my my healings that i do and um and she is so amazingly loving and beautiful and giving and wise <laughs> holy moly and knows exactly what we need to know and to hear and to feel and to where to go whether that's in a general meditation or a one-on-one -on -one or a healing um you know what can i say she's the shit she's just amazing i mean yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, so yes, please, please, please do all that you can to connect more with your, with your guides and guardians. If that is, if you feel really close to Jesus, great. If it's your mother that crossed over that you feel like very close to and talking to, great. Anybody from your spirit tribe, any ascended master, any deity, any any archangel, any angelic, but again, to build a strong foundation relationship, um, back and forth communication with your guardian angel is so important, so important. So what I implore you to do is to challenge yourself to um, connect with your guardian angel um, every single day to talk to them, do that meditation and uh, build a relationship with them. And then again, uh, the other thing was was balancing out the divine masculine, divine feminine energies within us. And really a great way to do that is to be creational. And that was another thing that came up a lot with the information that I got um, in the pre-show and uh, just over these last couple days. Of course, that's always a thing. It's always a thing to be creational, but... Um, and to balance out your energies, to be in union. That was a big thing with the union card was uh, about cr uh, creating and being in balance and balancing out the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. And again, to do that, 
being creative is just a really good way to, to do that. And if you can think of children of little ones, toddlers, you know, children that barely know what their gender is. If you ask, you know, maybe they know that they're a boy just because they've been told, but they have no idea what it means. You know, little, little ones and you see them creating painting building doing the things that children do which is creating 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 they're coming from a very balanced state of being with their energy um and and they they just create and so it's a really good lesson to pay attention to is and to um think about better stronger a healthier relationship with your inner child. Oh, that reminds me of another meditation that I did in February, healing the inner child and integrating the inner child. It's a beautiful meditation of going through your life and clearing out energies and then literally integrating the inner child, your, your little boy, your little girl, integrating that energy with you so you're the caretaker, so you're the responsible adult parent to your inner child and and it's a it's again a beautiful meditation i highly 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 recommend it it will get you um into a very um sweet energy and tap you in with that very pure creational energy big time <laughs> big time okay so um so that's basically it with the energies for april we want to think about the divine feminine divine masculine we want to think about creational energies most importantly we want to think about connecting with our angelics with our guardian angel most especially archangels dragons etc etc um on a daily basis and i may sometime here in this month put um do like a three or a five day challenge um of of a daily meditation kind of challenge I'm working on that so we'll see but um, I will be putting out more meditations this month um, I'm just getting a lot of things um, organized so um, so but for yourself taking time to um, even if it's five or ten minutes every single day it doesn't have to be five hours a day but if you could sit in your in your space in your home if it's your bedroom or your living room or wherever in your home and just sit there and connect and feel the energy of your home um feel the energy of your of your guides and your guardians with you it just takes a little bit of time just go oh yeah you're here awesome and just feel that energy you know like that sort of thing um that that will do a lot of good and then do the same thing outside go outside connect with nature feel the fresh air feel the sun feel the wind feel the earth sit in a comfortable place just for a few minutes listen don't listen to music just listen to nature and connect those those just four simple things morning and night good morning to your guardian angel good night to your guardian angel do a little review talk about what you want to do that day or ask what you should do that day or talk about what happened that day and then um five minutes connecting in your space five minutes outside this is aside from any other meditations this is just anchoring in with you and your guides and guardians and with Gaia every day okay so what we're gonna do now is get into the um the dragon oracle here the oracle of the dragon fae I should say to get we're gonna get one card for our message just extending so Sitting here in our messages and then after we're done here we will get into the meditation um oh and while i'm shuffling here i do want to let you know that coming up here in the near future i will be doing 
lives, um, live tarot and oracle, live um, actually energy portraits uh, where I'll connect with you and we I will uh, paint you an energy portrait. Um, and I'm, it's also going to be call in so I can talk to you on the show. And um, also I'm going to be doing like an advice an advice show as well so you can call in with your uh, questions um, so I'm gonna be having a few things coming up so uh, I, I'm very excited just setting things up is is just one of those things that takes a little bit of time but I have new things in the works coming up so I hope that you will join me on that and share that with other people who may be um, into that as well Okay, dear Dragon Fay, please give us a card, give us information here of what we need for the General Light Body Collective for, oh, there it is, for April 2021. Ah, the Lady Alfreda, justice will prevail. Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Okay. The Lady Alfreda. So let's get into this. It is card number 13. Uh, so that's interesting. So we have card number 13. The Lady Alfreda. Um, here from the Dragon Fate Oracle. And also this Union card. Also 13. Which is 4. We're going into our fourth month. So that's being pointed out to me again, just like it was when I got the union card. Okie dokie. And guess what? These little letters are too, too little. And I need, whoops, that was me. Where's my volume? I need some more light. Okay, here we go. Uh, card number 13, the Lady Alfreda justice will prevail and she speaks N know you this that whatsoever you send out you attract back to the power of three intent has energy so do thoughts feelings and emotions and once released this vibrational thought field radiates out and attracts back to you that which is sent out this is the law of the threefold return an ancient law that the wise ones have known of for many a year though many of the humans have refused to listen to its wisdom so if you cry out at injustice and if you are in pain you must clear the reasons these manifestations of the law were brought to you were drawn to you by you as you think so you will live as you do others will do unto you this is the magical law do not be afraid of this truth. See it as a source of freedom. There is no blame in this karmic truth for all that you send out will return. There is no other place for it to go. Your own underworld initiation is ending soon and the dark will soon come to be put sorry and the dark will soon come to be but a place full of rest release wisdom and deep ancient knowledge the law is the law and the lady's law is love unto all follow this and the threefold return will work its magics do you not know the truth your own underworld is not hell, but your dark time is the cauldron of your experience, your growth, your understanding, your knowledge. Now you have the knowledge of the law. Now that you have the knowledge of the law, will you work with it? Knowing it to be the truth. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. So this is about manifestation. This is about uh maintaining and managing your thoughts actions emotions and frequency this is about being mindful of what you project out into the world and how and why you you have the 
reality that you do why experience what you do what's what's going on in your world and a lot of people like she says here a lot of people just refuse to understand that they they don't see the connections because things sometimes take a beat take a minute to come back to have that reaction sometimes things are pretty instant which I think is is kind of cool <laughs> but sometimes things take a while and it can be a little bit kind of fuzzy around the edges to see things but again like I t like we talked about before if you're if you're coming from a place of connect being connected to your soul your guardian angel your your spirit guides who, how, how and whomever the way that you see that um, the more that you are in that lane with them, the the more or the easier it'll be to maintain your frequency, to master your frequency, to not what I say, um, how I see it is we're on a surfboard on a wave and the waves are constantly, you know, moving and shifting just like they do in the ocean. And you're ability to stay on that board to not be pushed off to not get thrown around to not be you know get all messed up or to get upset or anything like that really is um, a direct reflection of your foundation of how wide and how big that surfboard is that you can you can maneuver and stand on and really ride that wave without it really um, shaking you up too much and if it does a little bit you can adjust quickly so that is a really that's a really big thing and and I think because we're coming into a time here with with April the way that I see this is just it's going to it is going to be quicker in like what we put out what we get back kind of thing and so and especially through the Stargate Stargates are very much um designed to make create dissolve and solidify timelines and so things move quicker um energies are within us and around us are more potent and um more um um i, I char they're just they have a, a greater charge to them and so things tend to just be heavier, weighted more during a Stargate. It's like getting on a spaceship and power thrusting through space very quickly. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with what a Stargate is, please see my video um, about Stargates. I will put the, the link in this description um, so you could take a look at that. Um, I highly, highly recommend learning and understanding more about stargates um, because they're very important to our progress to our to our world to what goes on uh, because it like i said it really sets up our timelines it really accentuates and forces choices on our part and that is what life is all about just uh, one choice after another after another after another from the time where we little ones were making choices um, and um, from big to little and everything in between it's all about choices and in a stargate um, timeline formation or dissolution or destruction or creation is about our choices so if we say we make um, a choice to we're gonna go on a on a vacation then we start going down and mapping out our vacation and those are timelines that we're creating if we say we're moving those are timelines we're, we're creating if we're um breaking up or getting together with somebody those are timelines we're creating if you know these are all choices that we're making all of the time even you saying oh we're going to go to the mall on friday or saturday and what happens and transpires on those days those are timelines that are being created making plans going through um going through plans or changing plans or however you want to say that plans are choices and the energy attached to the plans are choices and the timelines attached to those are branches of choices and on and on and our our stargates are designed to help us structure and create our world with timelines with choices so in a in a stargate everything is kind of heightened and the and the the volume the intensity the heat is kind of turned up more so we're forced to make choices so our next week and months 
are being um, developed and and molded by us uh, individually within our group that we're that we work within at any given time and then um, uh, on a collective level not only in this world but the worlds beyond and when we go there we don't really necessarily know about it but trust me it's all connected okay i'm going to read a little bit more here um with alfreda um so about her the lady alfreda is a dragon fae being of wise counsel she is sister to mezzaline and as such she understands uh, emotions and water as energy emotions and water as energy but her being is about the law understanding the law and reminding us all that the process of natural law has its place in all our lives throughout all our lifetimes she brings justice and is a justice maker this card's appearance in your life means that soon the karmic ramifications of actions and thoughts emotions and words will be felt by all do not fear know that this draws one phase to a final close at last oh yeah I get, i'm feeling that like worlds colliding things again it's like the the everything that that we did individually and as a collective up till now up to 4 1 2021 20, is about the collective choices and the new paradigm that's being um, brought into existence the worlds collide the blending together the unification um that the, what i love that what she says here the ramifications of actions and thoughts emotions and words will be felt by all so again um i think she's really speaking she's speaking to the whole month she's showing me but she's definitely pointing to the timeline i mean to the stargate and the and what's going to be going on in the stargate so please pay attention to that um um pay attention to from f from the midnight on 4 4 through the 14th what goes on in the collective usually there's revelations there's announcements there's changes there's revolutions there's unif there's unifying forces there's um all sorts of stuff last month it was the or was it in february time flies it was that whole um stock market thing <laughs> that was a huge thing that was a tight that was a stargate event um so we'll see what happens here for for april but there's definitely going to be things on a global scale on an individual scale and for those of us that are really tapped in with the cosmic happenings with gaia with um really working with energies and writing those waves with our eyes open and really you know paying attention will um be able to have a, a an easier time of it because we know really what's going on and for those of you i'm hearing like people might be going oh is this like a 5d thing this is just a high like however we want to to distinguish dimensions it's just a really kind of funny thing for people to to try to do it's just about raising your vibration raising the collective vibration of of the world and as we move forward in, in with the stargate um we're naturally tapping into higher dimensions through our guidance so it's really up to you wh where you go at any given time um it's rare that i work in the channeled guided astral meditations that I do that anybody from Archangel Michael to Gaia to Merlin to any of them say we're in the ninth dimension we're they never like this is elevator stopping on floor this because it's so abstract it's like it's 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 a detail that doesn't even matter it's like really it's like it, it really doesn't matter so so it, it really when we talk about 3d 4d 5d all these things it's just really about raising our vibration raising our consciousness and being able to tap into higher realms and dimensions what they're actually labeled at and called is a human thing honestly um the collective the high council they don't work in in those terms to be honest with you okay and divinatory meanings with this card the 13th card the lady alfreda is it is time to get real and own what you have previously blamed on others this does not mean blaming yourself instead work on shifting your own karmic residue dragon fair wonderful at this 
and understanding the connections between what you have sent out and what you have created. Issues of law, justice, and karma. Fearful thoughts around what you see to be the darkness or black magic, not understanding just how the natural law works. Thus, this card asks you to look to your own intent, clear your space, work with your own dark times to understand the lessons, make friends with your shadow, and thank it for the lessons. And working with the Lady Alfreda. Make decisions, act in integrity, and keep your word. Be honest and upfront and expect that from others. You do not need to play games or be deceived anymore. If someone has not acted with integrity, know, know that you do not need to act as the natural law of this lady of the dragon fay will take over and justice will be realized in due course your role is to act with honor nobility and truth and keep to that course take action regarding matters that must be put to rights justice will prevail oh i love this message so much yeah don't if there's people situations experiences traumas and stuff that you are hurt by or you've been hurt by that still you know you think about these things and it creates an energy that in you that's angry mad upset judgmental feels sh shame or or um even guilt or any of that associated to other people this is your energy um the advice is to cut cords so if you're not familiar with that please check out my website i have an ebook called the importance of cord cutting along with companion meditations that will guide you through cord cutting um, that will help you with that because a lot of times we are energetically connected to people and it's really difficult for us to successfully move on when these cords are connected and even if we've moved past things even if we're not upset about things anymore maybe the people that other people that are connected to it have those energies and just because we're connected to them and they're connected to it in a negative way it uh the the spray of that wave will hit us and cause us issues so that's something to consider um what else was there uh oh and and also just to let go of the need to, you know, be vengeful or have revenge or want to do, want people to feel what you felt or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Um, the energy coming through for this month is really work on your own building, your own structure, your own um wellness within your own physical body and the world around you don't worry about somebody else's machine so it's like it in a in a car race in a professional car race each team and each driver are concerned with their car yeah they want to know what's going on with other people but they're building and working on their car what happens with other people is what's happening with other people in their cars they cannot control that they control their driver their car their team their engine their bo the body the weight of things and everything else that goes into that so they can do their race and know that they've done all that they can do within the parameters of their world to do to go as far as fast as possible and hopefully win the race so what everybody else is doing what is what what need what their timelines are what that's connected to with everybody else in the race really is beside the point unless everybody else that you're thinking of is in direct you know in that team with you that it really you know needs to affect you otherwise um, it's more of an observational thing instead of a judgmental thing. Don't worry about, you know, Sue Ann or, or, or John or whomever that is, you know, had something with you or was very rude or unfair or mean or whatever the case is because, um, the your attachment to it and for them to get theirs in some way is only attaching you to that negative energy and what does she say in the beginning here alfreda says 
whatever you feel, whatever your emotions are, whatever you send out, wherever it is, your station that you build upon is what will come back to you. So if you're sitting there thinking all these negative thoughts about somebody and you're angry and you're projecting all this shit, then it's going to boomerang back to you in different, in a lot of different ways because that the energy needs to, to go somewhere and it's going to go back to its originator, you. And how is it going to do that? Three times. The law is three times what you send out. So if you think about sending out um, feelings of love and blessings and trust and faith and connection and unity, three times that energy is going to come back to you. So do that to send out love, to put, to, to have that energy go out into the world and just let it l sit and fall where it may. Let, let everybody else's guides and guardians pick up whatever beautiful energy that you're sending out that can help whomever and then let it go. Ah, <sighs> so lovely. Okay. Um, and again, the lastly, lastly, just know justice will prevail. If, if you have something going on and it's about justice, know that things will be put in a certain order for the, for the good of everybody in this life and everybody in every other life. Um, act from a place of integrity. Be honest about your part in things. Um, don't come from a place of vengeance and revenge about things. Um, sometimes it's, it's so much better for everybody involved to to seek out love and forgiveness and letting go and moving on than it is to hold on to hurts and pains and angers because we were we need to get some type of there needs to be a balancing and we need to control it um, because that's an illusion <laughs> I mean unless you really um, you know, people that get so far um, wrapped up into those energies are people who commit, you know, horrible acts of violence and stuff because they're so overwhelmed with the need to to act out the feelings that are inside of them of being wronged or needing to to project out um, wrongs that have been done to them. So we want to be as far away from that type of energy. And that's not to say that we don't honor um, lower vibrational feelings and emotions because we must. We're human. It's necessary. But we need to honor those feelings and then see where they get placed. See where, pull the string on what else they're attached to. Follow that as far in as you possibly can. Find the knot of what it's all attached to and start to unravel that. That's energy. That's healing. And sometimes you can do that all by yourself. And sometimes it's good to have help. And so just go with your guidance go with like i said your um your guardian angel will lead you in the direction that you, for you to get help however you need it whether it's another person in in this life or it's on the other side or it's through a dream or it's in a book or a video or um or whatever know that you will be guided if you do, if you open up to that guidance it'll happen just naturally because you want it to and everybody in your spirit tribe is there for you because you're you're the you're the warrior on the ground you're you're the one who is doing the work you're the one in a body you're the one suited up in a human body for your your soul mission so your guides are just like mission control wanting to give you the best information to help you and everybody else um, fulfill your mission as easily as possible with as much love and guidance as possible all you need to do is tune in and follow the direction that's it. It's pretty simple. <laughs> At least it's supposed to be. 
<laughs> okay, so with that said, I want to thank you so much for um, being here and getting these messages for this um, energy update for April 2021. Please leave your messages or your questions in the comments. Um, again, check out my website. We're going to take a little break here. We're going to come back and do the meditation in just a minute. So um, you could pause this video, turn off your lights, grab your crystals. Um, I'm, I have frequency music on, but you can go ahead and put on your own. Um, find a nice, comfortable space for you to be in. We're going to be doing this in the seated position and we'll be right back. Hey there and welcome to our guided meditation for April 2021. I want to thank you for being here, for being guided here. I want to thank your guides and guardians um, directly from me to them for bringing you here to this space. So thank you. Thank you. We are going to be getting into our channeled guided meditation and if this is a first meditation with me, welcome to your first channeled guided meditation facilitated by me, Infinity, and what I do is tap in with Mother Gaia, the Archangels, the Fae, the Galactics, and um, just tap in to receive the messages that we need for any given day and time period. Today we are working specifically with the energies opening up to the new portal for April 2021. We're um, coming into the energies here in a few days for the Stargate. Um, and so this meditation is going to be encompassing the whole month of April, all the energies of April. I hope that you... Uh, Join me on the first part of this for the energy update to get the uh, information that came through before doing this meditation. That's usually the way that it goes. I start tapping in, downloading, and then I'll do some tarot and oracle. <clears throat> More information will come through. And then I will be guided to do uh, a channeled meditation. So none of the meditations that I do, I design or am the architect of. I simply show up, close my eyes, tap in and start receiving. And so very similar to what you're doing. You show up, you close your eyes, you tap in, you start receiving. Same thing with me. I never know what we're going to do where we're going to go, what's going to be said, um, but they are channeled and we do uh, quantum leap into different dimensions most of the time. Sometimes we just stay put and we just really work with our bodies and connecting with Gaia. I have no idea where we're going to go, but I want you to know that um, all you need to do is just keep your eyes closed. If you're not a normal or usual somebody that does meditation, that is okay. All you need to do is just stay with me, listen to my voice, follow my guidance, keep your eyes closed. You can move, you can scratch, you can sway, you can change positions. You can, you know, you don't have to stay totally still um, in these meditations. So it is okay to move your body. We do really get energetically um, connected. You'll start, you may even start itching in your back or your hands and your face, the top of your head or around your head. I definitely start to get itchy throughout my body. I'll get warm. I will yawn. I'll, my ears will pop. I'll get ringing. All of these different things will happen. And I'll just have to, um, do, I do my best to, I uh, acknowledge these things and but not focus on them not let them take me out of what I'm trying to do because the whole point of my body feeling these things is that I am connecting 
So with that said, just make sure you're in a seated position, either in a chair, on a couch, on your floor. Um, if you must lay down, that is fine. Just make sure that your body is supported in whatever position that you happen to be sitting or laying in. We wanna make sure that your hips and your pelvis are nice and straight, that your shoulders are down and back away from your ears, that you you have a nice, easy feel and and um, expression to your face so an easy smile always helps with the energy there want to make sure that your spine is straight and aligned so again whether you're sitting or laying down just make sure that your spine is nice and straight and that there aren't any pressure points mostly it's just really um very important that you're physically comfortable getting into meditation any meditation so you're not distracted so it's always a good idea to check in with your body and make sure that that's comfortable for you okay so let's get into it here take a nice stabilizing breath in and out of the mouth and then close your mouth we're going to be breathing with our with our mouth closed so take a few breaths with your mouth closed breathing in and out of your nose nice and easy not rushed not forced not at any specific tempo just pay attention to your breath you want to take a nice long and deep breaths though so think about taking breaths in and out of your nose at a count of four and five so in one two three four and five and then hold and then out through your nose easy and slow one two three four four and five there you go i want to take this time again to welcome you and your guides and guardians here to thank you so much for being here I want to welcome them in so guides and guardians angelics fae galactics ancestors the entire collective of spirit tribe yours mine and ours I want to welcome everyone in Gaia specifically, welcoming in Mother Gaia, welcoming in the Archangels, welcoming in all Ascended Masters, all gods, goddesses, and deities, everyone that we are connected to with the light, by the light, and for the light, whether we're incarnate or on the other side, no matter our perspective of where we happen to be at any given moment. connecting with our guides and our guardians our angelics so just take a moment with your eyes closed regulating your breath really thinking about your breath and just think about welcoming in all your guides and guardians like they're coming to a party you're just opening up the door and letting them come in and as they do, they're sending their love to you. How much they love you and support you. How proud they are of you. Smiles and hugs and love to you. Beautiful dear soul. And they're saying it really does feel like a party this is our month they're saying uh, this is a month of guides and guardians ancestors to really come through and connect but especially your angelics as we discussed in the energy update portion and so they're just very happy that you're here, that you're present, that you know these things, that you're ready to work with them starting here. Whatever day you happen to be doing this meditation, if it's not here on the 1st of April, it could be on the 15th of July and you're doing this meditation, it still is valid and counts. Any and all of the meditations that we facilitate here are timeless, even though they were for 
uh, uh, for a specific day. It doesn't mean that they're not relevant at any other time. So please know that. But here in the now and present moment, on April 1st, 2021, when we are gathered here to do this meditation, want to tap in with the energies here of this first day of this fourth month in the year 2021. We want to anchor in with the awareness that we're here to receive downloads and upgrades activations down to a cellular level based in our dna so we can receive release remember and rise and change from the inside out um, on a biological level through our dna to promote it to evolve as we know, we are changing our very structure from carbon to crystalline. And many of us have been working very intensely with this energy to integrate it into our bodies so we can be at a higher vibration, reflect and refract light. So what we're being guided to do now is to um, envision you in your space sitting there and whatever the structure is that you're in your home your office if you're in a structure when i think about it just dissolving away like water hitting a watercolor painting and pretty soon it'll wash everything away all of the details just see it and envision water coming down and all around you, all of the details of your physical material life uh, and the structure that you're sitting in and all the details, the furniture, the, the knickknacks, the um, anything on the walls, the pictures, the photographs, the appliances, the clothes, everything everything just starts to dissolve and wash away and it's just you it's just you and this beautiful energy I want to see this energy starting to form after the details wash away and it's just this beautiful rainbow light iridescent opalescent glimmery energy that's all around you as far as you can see if you take your vision up or down to the left to the right it's just all this beautiful light all around you but what starts to come in and form around the light are these big um they're uh round some of them are round some of them are tall and long uh formations of light coming in all around you there are um, different colors different hues different intensities of light i want you to see them start coming in around you coming in through that rainbow light these would be your guides and your guardians and you're just able to see them as what they are pure energy so however you're seeing this but they're different, um, different shapes, different colors, different sizes, different um, intensities of light. So this would be your guardian angels and your archangels and your ancestors, your beloved friends and family, not only from this lifetime, but from all of your lifetimes as they start to come in and you can really raise your perspective, really, um, take yourself because this is just all light filled you can raise your perspective up and look out and see all the different divine beings of light all around you angelics will be long and more of it like a um uh 
<laughs> I'm having a hard time thinking of the word. Like, a, I want to say obelisk, but that's not it. It's like, it's it's uh, it's not round, and it's it's not just straight. It's um, it's a rounded type of of energy, but longer. That will be your archangels and angels. And they will be mostly this beautiful golden coppery rainbow light, but then they will cycle through and kind of stay on a certain color a little bit longer. And that is their like their main color that um, is represented with them, whether that's an angel or an archangel. And then we have the other um, the other beings that will present differently. They'll be they can be much smaller and rounder, um, brighter in light or intensity of color. Usually, angelics and archangels are very very um, subtle in their colors. <sighs> And also ascended masters you will see here as well. So um, whether that's Jesus or Krishna or Buddha or Muhammad or whomever that you connect to as an ascended master, there are many, many more well-known, many less well-known, but there are many ascended masters. Um, you will see some archangels um, very close to other uh, energies, um, almost a, like like they uh, there's like a reflection almost, but they're different. So this would represent when an archangel has taken form in a physical body and is either well known or not by the collective as being um, what it would be typically known um, or identified as an ascended master or a saint in the past. So you may see that sort of thing. It really just depends on what's coming through for you. But I just want to explain some of this. So just paying attention, looking around, seeing um, who are coming uh, closer to you but notice the vastness of the of the divine beings here and just let them come in and be close and send their love and their energy to you as you start to tap in with your body we're going to be really tapping in with our energy i want you to think about your physical body from your toes the bottoms of your feet your knees, your calves, your thighs, your butt, your pelvis, your chest, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your neck, your head, your scalp, your hair, your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your jaw. And take a few deep breaths in and out of the of the nose. You're thinking about the different places upon your body. And just taking note at how they feel. If you feel any places of dissonance, of um, pain, of tightness, just take your awareness there. Repeat, I release and I receive. And you don't want to ignore it or push it down. You want to open up the body like a flower. Let that energy open up. Tell the body it's okay to feel what you feel, to tap into the energies. We don't want to ignore them. We don't, we don't want to push them away. When we acknowledge them, they are helpful to feel things that are off in our bodies that are uncomfortable so we can help to massage that energy out and make it comfortable again. I want you to tap in with your solar plexus chakra that's directly in the center of your body right at your belly button i want you to see and feel that and envision that as a big beautiful yellow glow like the sun 
This is your center, the center of your own personal solar system. So think of it as your sun and just light that up and get that nice and big. And take a deep breath and really center into that and just see that energy getting brighter and brighter. Nice, fluffy, bright energy just getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. I want you to see it getting going past your thighs and up into your chest. And I want you to really think about this energy coming from your solar plexus. And really, um, you can use your hands and your arms for emphasis to really think about taking this energy and pushing it out all around you. I want you to think about doing this, not just now, but every day, just taking a moment, tapping in with your body, connecting with your solar plexus energy, and envision it getting very, very large all around you until it takes up the entire area all around you, that you're in this beautiful bubble of your solar plexus chakra. And this is your sun. You are the sun. You are a fractal of all that is. So that means you're also a fractal of our beautiful sun the soul the soul of this beautiful quadrant of energy in creation in the universe of the multiverse and that we can tap in with that amazing fire passion energy life force feel it all the way around your body i want you to really see yourself becoming the sun tapping in just see yourself rising rising up into the sky meeting with the sun getting bigger and bigger and bigger brighter and stronger rising up and receiving the energies from our sun and just letting it hit and integrating with those energies that are coming in and again I release and I receive Receiving the incoming energies for the timelines, the activation codes, the downloads, activating our Merkabas, our sacred geometry within us, our soul song frequency. Remembering that the month of April is about tapping in with our angelics, with our guardian angels, with our spirit tribe, and that's why they are all here with us sending us love and support and whether we can feel it or know it or distinguish it right now just know that they are filtering through um, knowledge and wisdom and bits of information that we need and we on a subconscious and then conscious level will understand this guidance as we move forward in the minutes days and weeks ahead and the more that you connect every single day begin your day saying hello to your guardian angel when you go to sleep at night say good night to your guardian angel talk about your day with your guardian angel what transpired talk about the day ahead and what you're going to do that day ask your guardian angel to be there with you Talk to your guardian angel throughout your day. This month is about connecting to you, your soul, balancing out the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies that are coming through for us to filter in. And Mother Gaia sending her energy up through her beautiful earth, through the crystalline grid through the abundance matrix helping us to integrate to let go to unplug to collapse timelines that keep us connected to the material matrix 
to let go of past programming and thought forms that keep us bound and tied to lower frequencies or timelines that keep us away from ourselves, our souls, our guides, and ultimately our missions here in these lifetimes. So we want to very, very consciously and intentionally tell our bodies, tell our spirit, tell the energy on a quantum level within every single one of our cells in our bodies that we're moving into a higher state, that we're deciding to connect with our angelic presences around us, our guides, our guardians, that we are a warrior on the ground here to help Gaia, here to help humanity, here to help the very elements, the animals, the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, the earth that we walk upon, the technology and how we're connecting right here and now, that we're here to better all of it, to better ourselves, to greater connect, to tap in with our future and our past selves so our present selves are as in alignment and grounded as we possibly can be, as open as we can be to receiving divine love and guidance. And with that, I want you to tap in and think about your heart chakras at this time. Take a deep breath and tap in and feel into your chest. Feel it opening up. We want to feel it the entire through your back, through your shoulders, down your um, arms to your hands. We want to open up this energy. This is beautiful uh, emerald green energy that is our heart chakra mixed with a bit of pink. And we want to feel into that. And just like our solar plexus um, chakra, just letting it get bigger and bigger. We want to open up the channels of energy for our energetic wings. So that's right at your back from your, your top of your rhomboid or your shoulder blades all the way down. It's about six inches. So if you're unfamiliar with this, just think about your shoulder blades and opening up the inner, the, um, like the, opening up the channels of energy there so your heart chakra energy can move through and out of the top of your back a lot of people have this upper back pain pain in the shoulder blades going up into the neck and this truly is heart chakra energy that just is trapped in the body and making it very uncomfortable so when we open up those channels of energy we're able to release that energy just open it up and tell your body that it's okay to release this energy out of those two channels and allow your um, your energy to fully expand your heart chakra energy to fully expand like the third eye the heart chakra is meant to be ever growing ever expanding which means that it's impossible to contain that within our physical vessels, within our physical bodies. We must release that energy out and through the arms, down through the hands. And this is how when we're, when we're healing, we can send out our love through our hands, through our hand chakras. So think about your hand chakras and opening them up. Like you're taking off gloves and once you take off those gloves you can see that energy so envision that energy as you take off those gloves and this beautiful green light love energy can radiate out from your hands same thing with your wings that are coming up and just let them unfold however they may look to you or feel to you and that's that love energy coming out from your heart chakras and being able to expand around you. And it also serves like antenna to pick up information around you as well and to send out healing and love to all. It also allows you to feel and pick up on energies better Feel love all around you to pick up on love energies. So 
So breathe through this. We want to integrate. We want to superimpose this green energy from our heart chakras getting bigger and bigger. So it's with this yellow and this green now together. They're both big and buoyant and all around you. And we want to pull in these energies from around us as well that are being sent to us from Gaia. She's sending up pulses of energy now through the crystalline grid. And this is also helping us to connect with the crystals that are meant to, to be with us. If you don't know, um, crystals are not only uh set in their frequency to help us regulate our frequencies but they act like little receivers little usb cards little computers that receive energy specific for us individually no matter where they are we we tune in and pick up on those and especially the crystals that we have in our possession that we consider ours of course, they are Gaia. They are of Gaia. They are gifts and presence of love in different frequencies and forms. And they're so beautiful. And this is why we're so uh, mesmerized and connected and drawn to crystals. Because they're literally um, material, tangible things we can feel that is pure love in different forms from our mother Gaia. And she gives us these gifts to have while we're in these bodies to, to partake of their energies, to use as receivers, to download information, to connect with them. We may not understand everything that's coming through or why we're so drawn to any specific crystal at any specific time to either acquire them, to purchase them, or to have them near us, to have them on our bodies, to really use them to filter our um, energy to help protect us from lower vibrational energies to help clear our energies as we know that they can do but they also act as receivers for us remember mission control and our main mission control um uh Number one would be Gaia. She is our, our mother here and she holds us dearly and she wants nothing more than for our happiness and our success and our comfort and to be as abundant as we can possibly be. So she allows for these beautiful pieces of herself to be brought up and out and into the world for us to connect with. And through that, we can uh, we connect with greater wisdom and know it, knowledge and understanding so have the intention to either um, acquire and start acquiring and tapping into the crystals that are meant for you also for those of you who have crystals who have been collecting them or are connected to them think about your different crystals just take a moment here let the crystals in your immediate world speak to you, show themselves to you, ask your crystals which, which ones need to work with you, integrate with you, see them in your mind's eye and take a note to uh, connect with them later, to hold them, to have them, to move them around, to clear them, to be with them to connect with them however you're guided to to take pictures of them to talk about them to write about them to really connect with all the crystals that are coming to you right now see your crystals as if they're on a conveyor belt and they're just coming straight into you with their energy. So this conveyor belt is just um, right in front of you and coming straight to you. And see your crystals, the different crystals that you have or the crystals that you've seen, the crystals that you'd love to have or even if it's just abstract, abstract crystals you've never seen before. However, it's coming through to you 
to see them on this conveyor belt coming towards you. And as they get closer to you, to see them coming into your energy field, integrating with you in your energy field, and you just letting them come in and melt into your energy field with you, really opening up and accepting them, opening up to the crystals that you already know and the ones that you are to know in the future. Feel yourself becoming more balanced. Feel yourself feeling uh, clear, higher vibration and frequency. See yourself being more refractive and reflective. See yourself lit up. See yourself as a crystal because you are a crystal. Water is a crystal and you're mostly water and your very blood and flesh and bone are taking on a crystalline quality, moving out of the carbon into the crystalline. For some of us under light, we can see the sparkles of the crystalline in our skin. It's very, very mesmerizing. So just imagine yourself integrating with all of your crystals connecting with them receiving their beautiful information and wisdom and love that um, very special fey work to uh, download into the crystals as directed by the high council for each of us individually like little packets of information and love and energy life force sent to us in very beautiful ways take note of what you see what you feel what you're hearing if you're seeing places where you've seen crystals or rocks whether it's online or stores or just the rocks in your neighborhood the gravel out on your on your street and you're compelled to go to these places to pick one up to hold it just think about this if there's a particular crystal shop that you normally go to and you're seeing it see yourself there or if you don't know of one, see yourself finding one or finding one online. You don't have to be in person with a crystal to um, have it be the crystal for you. So please know you can buy crystals online, have others pick them out for you. This is also something that I do. So if you're guided to have me pick out crystals for you, I am happy to do that. It's one of the, my favorite things to do. Connecting with Gaia to find crystals that are meant for you. And it's always perfect. So know that there's different ways that you can acquire your crystals. And the perfect one that is meant for you will come to you time and time and time again. Just take a moment here to just allow the unpacking of this information of the crystals coming through and however you're seeing this. Remember, take note, see yourself there. Take another couple deep breaths, really anchoring in with this and feel the energies just going throughout your whole body. Feel the pulses of light coming up from Gaia. She's saying as these crystals are integrating with you, she's sending out pulses of light. Our sun, our soul is sending pulses of light to us as we're suspended here in this beautiful rainbow light dimension floating here with our solar plexus and our heart chakras holding us up 
Uh, we're completely surrounded by this energy, integrating our wings, uh, the channel for our wings open, that energy allowed to escape from our backs, going through our hands and just really feel this taking over your entire body. We wanna feel the undercurrent of energy with your root, with your sacral, with your throat, the third eye and the crown, of course, all that's Bring them all online at once. Just turn them all up and on. The root, the sacral, the throat, the third eye, of course, has been engaged. We really want to see all of these energy. The root with red, the sacral with orange. Again, with the solar plexus with yellow, the throat with I'm sorry, the heart with green, that emerald green, the throat with sky blue. Really see and feel these energies in and all around you. Up into the third eye with the uh, indigo color, the beautiful indigo lighting up, getting nice and big. And then the crown chakra with that violet. I turn this all up and on in the undercurrent, but our big, big um, connections with our own body, with our own energy is through the heart chakra, through the solar plexus chakra right now, really um, being the, the ones at our center, the biggest ones in our body, really what we're feeling here. We want to um, lead and be led by the heart by our in unconditional love and be grounded and centered with our solar plexus and it's really the foundation that's our our um our where our, our authenticity our self the understanding of self lies and we can allow that um, those energies to integrate through the body and up through our love, through our heart chakras and really send out the pulses of energy from our heart chakra throughout the rest of our bodies all the way down, picking up on the energies coming in, up and through Gaia. I want you to think about all those beautiful divine beings in your space with you and them really just lighting up even more, sending their energies to you and everything around you lighting up, becoming that beautiful pillar of light. Just imagine yourself cocooned in your energy, lit up with all this crystal that you've integrated and the light coming from your guides and your guardians, like a beautiful light that a crystal is sitting on and just lighting yourself up and letting the light come and shine through you and all around you up and out all around you bright 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 again like a crystal on a beautiful bright light shining out all around you see all the different aspects and and shimmer and light and color Think about how different the different crystals are that you integrated with, whether it's amethyst or labradorite or um, citrine or or pearl or diamond or emerald or um, any any crystal, no matter what it is. Just see them, feel them within the body, feel them taking over everything within the body. See and feel that light coming from Gaia, from your guides and guardians that are all around you and from the sun itself coming through, all sending light to and through you to light you up turning on your and really integrating with your Merkaba to so start to see that form, that formation of your soul frequency uh, materializing into sacred geometry within your own body vehicle and then allow for that energy to come out of the body, out of the chest and sit right in front of you, suspended so you can see it forming. Remember, sound is energy. Energy is a structure and structures um, have um 
are something that we can look at. So you can look at your soul song frequency, feel your soul song frequency, see your own personal Merkaba, your own sacred geometry. See it lit up, suspended before you. Take a look at it. Now make it bigger. You can reach out, touch it, feel it, make it bigger. Stretch it out in all directions. See how it's lit up. See how sparkly and shiny and alive it is. Feel and hear the frequency, the vibration. Pull it out bigger and bigger and bigger until it's all around you and you're standing, sitting, being in your own sacred geometry, surrounded by the light, surrounded by your own life force, surrounded by the frequency of your soul. Everything that is pure and true that is meant to be connected to you, may it connect to you now. And say, I connect with all that is pure and true and light filled for my soul, my soul evolution, for my healing, for me as an incarnate in a body. I tap in with Mother Gaia and the Abundance Matrix. I tap into and receive the energy from our beautiful sun, the soul of our solar system, of this family, as Mother Gaia holds us, our beautiful father, the soul. If you will, he sends his light and shines it upon us. They work with perfect balance and harmony. She is the womb and he is the light that shines upon it. Allowing it to feel and be energetic, to grow, to be something of creation. And that is what we are in and within her within the universe, within our own souls, and incarnate here in a body, a fractal of all that is creational beings meant to create. So integrate the energies that will uh, light your fire, <clears throat> that will spark your creativity, Spark the energy for you to create in this world, to receive divine guidance from all who are around you, to receive the uh, downloads and the light codes and the activations to spark our awareness, to connect us with our souls so we can download the information and know how and what to create. This is what we're meant to do, however we're meant to do it. So just open up to all of that information coming to and through you and just see it pouring down in and around you. Pulses of light coming in from all directions, integrating on a molecular quantum level packets of information that you on a conscious level at a later time will understand and will act through in the highest vibrational pos uh, way possible. And just breathe that knowing in and repeat after me. I am love. Love I am. I am a child of Gaia and this beautiful multiverse 
I come from a perfect balance of divine masculine and feminine and I integrate with that knowing deep within my body, my energy, my soul. I bring that knowing and knowledge into my awareness so I may integrate deeper stronger and more in balance with the divine masculine and the divine feminine so i may create from this point of view of balance of unity of harmony of love i reach out and extend myself to my guides and my guardians so i may receive always and forever this is my promise to myself that i am open loving willing giving peaceful and harmonious it is my intention to unify with all that is with mother gaia with my guides and guardians, so I may be of service in the best ways possible. I go in to the future happy, excited, open, and faithful, trusting, and I release the need to control. I let go of fears of the unknown and I know I am protected, guided, guarded, taken care of always. So be it and so it is. And please know your guides and guardians are all sending so much love to you now in all directions through the matrix and the web of life. And I want you to just integrate with these energies that are coming to you. Be here in this space. Feel the love all around you. Be open to walking into the future. Connected, open, and peaceful. And again, with a promise to yourself to maintain your energy as best as you can because you are open to receiving guidance always. So please stay here in this space as long as you're guided to integrate with these energies and these pulses of light Feel your guides and guardians. Take note of whatever may come to you. Move slowly. Drink lots of water. Promise yourself that you'll rest when you're being told to. That you'll eat what your body craves. That you won't move through this time. This April of 2021 out of habit. But instead through guidance. And with that, I want to thank all of you for being here on both sides of the veil. It is always my deep pleasure, blessing, and honor to be here to facilitate these connections. I want to say thank you to Gaia, to all of the angelics, all the guardian angels who brought um, those that you are uh that you're in charge of with you those of you incarnate i want to thank you all of the archangels the fae the galactics every single 
a beautiful divine being, everyone's ancestors and family for being here. I feel you all. I love you all. I am always so grateful to be connected to each and every one of you. And uh, it was an honor again today to be here with you. And thank you so much again. And so, so for you, I want to say, uh, please go slow, please take it easy as you move through the future and sending my love and blessings to you. And as you come out of this meditation, whenever you are guided to, just come back into it nice and slow. Just let the densities of your surroundings come back into existence in your world. Move slowly through, back into body when you're ready. And with that, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thank you so much for being here. With love always, this is infinity. Until next time, infinite love and blessings.